<sighs> How's everybody doing out there today? Finally off of work. First day of my weekend, so it's time to play some Siphon Filter. Here we are at Roamer's Snow Base. Now this level, I recall, is... Well, I went loud on my last playthrough because I just wasn't that good at the game. I'm a little bit better now. So let's see if I can actually sneak into Roamer's Snow Base and get down to Biz. Now, not to say I didn't beat it before, because I did, but I just ran around dodging bullets the entire time. Which, if you're Chow Yun Fat, that's the way you do things, but I'm Gabe Logan, so that's not how we want things to go down this time. What we want now... is a nice stealthy approach and if things do get hairy well then we'll just light everybody to kingdom come but i've discovered why every mission in this investigation has been compromised the agency had a leak at the top benton of course you knew you were valuable to me logan but you are not briefed on all of the agency's activities i've known for some time that benton was playing both sides how many missions did you send us on knowing that benton could have gotten us killed we do what it takes logan all of us what else did you find out? We downloaded several data files from Fagan's computers. It'll take a while before intelligence can crack Farcon's encryption codes, but Fagan must have a lab somewhere that's manufacturing this virus. Fagan has disappeared. Interpol hasn't been able to turn up a trace of him yet, and there's still no sign of Romer. Romer is operating out of an old Soviet base in northern Kazakhstan. Our spy satellites have pinpointed the exact location of his compound. The State Department must be able to tell the Kazakhstan government that the United States had nothing to do with the operation. Your chopper will put you down one mile outside the base, just beyond the range of their long-range radar. Hopefully the blizzard will mask your approach. You will have to infiltrate on foot and disable their short-range anti-aircraft guidance radar before evac. Those look like long-range SS-23s. Yes, they're the reason I'm sending you. Before you set the timer, you need to find their missile stockpiles and retrieve the launch code. We want to find out where he is getting them. You will be carrying several C4 charges, which you will plant on these fuel tanks. That should be enough explosive to take out whatever arms he is stockpiling. This is Vladislav Gabrek, Romer's base commander. He is personally in charge of security. Contingency plan? If you fail, we'll have another chopper standing by two clicks south. If I find Romer... Eliminate him. I'm on my way in. All right. <clears throat> Radio traffic shows a yellow alert status. Be careful to avoid their patrols. If the base goes on alert, you won't have much time to complete your objectives. Check. Roger that. I couldn't hear a word you're saying because my volume is so goddamn low. But yeah, sure. I could have shot that guy, but his bot buddy's right there, so probably wouldn't have been in good taste. Matter of fact, I think I can dodge these two. Grab those gas grenades for a rainy day. Or a snowy one, in this case.
I found a fuel tank. I've planted the first explosive. First explosive has been tendered. That's bullshit. Please tell me it didn't alert everyone to my presence. Gabe, intelligence briefings show the bunkers are guarded by. I gotta turn this off a little bit. You have to cut their power to get in. Where's the substation? I'm probably gonna pick up one mic, but I gotta hear what's going on. Oh shit. Where's the head or the headlamp at? Must be above me. See if I can get a shot on it from back here. I can see it, but I can't shoot the light out. Wait, maybe I can. There it goes. These Metal Gear Solid 1 guard ripoffs are great. <laughs> Leon, the gate to the bunker is locked down. Intelligence reports that only Gobrick has a key into the missile bunkers. His patrols could take him anywhere. I'll try the comm building. It's locked down. Gotta like study the pattern of every guard because one peep and it's curtains. These shots are getting sloppy, but they're still working. I just don't like when I start slop shooting.
Should be another fuel tank over here. And hopefully no more sentries posted. Ah, oh, there's one more. Motherfucker. And it looks like he's looking directly over here. What the hell? That's weird, man. How am I supposed to get him? Oh, I have to go around. the power to the motion sensors I'm heading over to the bunkers now awesome check the objectives real quick three more fuel tanks garb gabrick and this card key and I gotta reach the bunker Two guards next to each other. I don't know if this game was. I forget if the other guy will know if I shoot his body. I'm guessing if I shoot his body right next to him, we'll probably catch wind of it. But uh, we'll see what, what our options are in a minute when they come back. Excuse me, if they come back. They might not. And I hope they don't, because it might make it easier to take them out otherwise go down there what do we got here night vision rifle don't mind if I do and some more gaze grenades oh that's what I should have used on them yeah I forgot about them the gas grenades are awesome big fan of the gas grenades oh yep gas grenade these guys that would make short work of them. Gas disperse. 
before I walk right into a death trap. Uh oh. Another sentry in the area. Making his presence known. That moment before taking a shot, man, your heart always skips a beat. At least mine does. another fuel tank over here. Forget how to get in there. I, I think I might just be able to kick the door down. I feel like this is gonna fuck me over though. Oh, okay. Shot him through the fucking door. There we go. Forgot how good I forgot how good Siphon Filter really is. Like if you really like play it and you just notice everything that they did everything that they polished up oh he was outside anyway like there's nothing you really can't do especially on a ps game i mean they really the subtleties of the game are very very well polished no doubt about it oh this looks like another job for gas grenades. It's gonna be a tough throw though.
night, gentlemen. <sighs> stuck now, Gabe. One more explosive to plant. Damn it. It almost went down perfect. Now everybody and their mom's looking for Gabe. That's the last explosive. I'll trigger the timer once I'm on the roof and have disabled their radar. Copy. I'll take everyone on then. Fine by me. That's what it's going to take. Man, see, it's stuff like that it just ruins the fun, you know? Like, really, dude? Like, that's how you're going to do me? You're going to screw me over like that by blowing something up on me? Like, you fucking asshole. Bye, Gabrick. I'll get his key card. All that, and I turn a corner and get fucking get had. Look at this. What the? <laughs> I'm trying to do something new and not get pissed off, but it's kind of hard when this is what the game's doing to you. But then again, that's where the that's where the uh, challenge lies. I'm dead again. They're hitting me way too hard. These guys really do come in crazy. All right, so I think that's everything. I just need to get to the uh, missile bunker. Which I know where it's at, but I'm kind of turned around up here. It's this way. Yeah, I shot you. You should be dead. Before you got that hit off. It's bullshit. Forgot, and yeah, there's more to this. Flag jacket, flag jacket, flag jacket, anybody? Almost out of ammo already. Okay, come on. Should be a flag jacket around here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All that perfect stealth. And this is what I get for it. Back to square one of getting fucked. Where the hell am I? 
Oh, here again. Great. Fucking great. I'm not even gonna bother shooting this level. I don't know what it is, but the guards just are way too strong. Man, I went the wrong way. Like, they, they just fucking light you up like a Christmas tree. And no other siphon filter game have ever felt adversity like this. Like, I remember what I did was, what I'm about to do now is just completely dodge everything. That's all I can do. Even then, it's damn near impossible. There's those motion sensors. Cause look, they just send these motherfuckers out of nowhere. It's so fucking annoying. Get up there. I think I might have made it. Yeah. That went. I thought I was gonna have a perfect run on that level, but no. Nah. <laughs> Still much better than my previous run. I'll tell you that. Guess that's what I gotta be grateful for. And there should be a flag track here waiting for me here inside the missile bunker. Leon, I'm in the bunker. I'll catalog the missiles. I'll catalog the, the missiles and then get ready for data transmission. All right, it's really dark in here. It's bust the flashlight out. All right, after getting my poo pushed in, at least they provided me with a flag jacket. Oh, uh, but you know what? I think maybe if I didn't get caught, it would be, there'd be less, they wouldn't know I was here. Uh, I would have been interesting to test that theory, but unfortunately, I got fucking caught. Hi. I've got the first firing goad. As soon as I get the rest, I'll be heading up to the radar tower on the roof. Stand by. I'm intercepting more radio traffic. They're starting to patrol the perimeter. If they spot me, I'll have to dust off. Copy. Oh yeah, the helicopter was coming up. Not looking forward to this. When I fought the helicopter last, I used small arms fire to destroy it. I think that's what it's looking like now because I don't think I have anything more. What do I got weapon-wise here? Kind of the same shit I had last time. I can find a grenade launcher down here that might help. Though I'm not sure there is one. This is where I started. This is where Cousin It and his bot body show up. So 
sweet dreams, gentlemen. <sighs> nice try. But I know this level well. Good night. Look at this guy trying to do some tack rolls like he's Gabe Logan over here. Come the papa. I got all night. Come on out. I know your tricks. Wait until I turn around so you can make your move. Well, I'm highly trained in dumb shit like that, so don't even think about it. Should be some more missiles in here to catalog. Speaking of sneak attacks, good night. Remember when I first played through this level, like, I must have died a billion times. Then I realized there was actually <laughs> four missiles in here instead of two. Good job, Gabe. Now you're gonna- you're dead. <laughs> Un unbelievable. Just un- absolutely unbelievable, dude. I don't even understand what happened there. That made no sense. <sighs> My god, dude. I was like literally pumping my shotgun point blank and it wasn't even like Gabe wasn't looking at them. Cause I know about that, but whatever. This is where your patience really immediately gets tested. Like you just don't do as good because I'm not contacting Leon again. And apparently yes I am. I've got the first firing code. Check. God fucking damn it. Pisses me the fuck I I really I can't Dude, I really wish I wasn't mad about it, but I am. Gabe, you suck. This level is entirely too dark though. It's it's bad. I know they wanted to emphasize flash flashlight usage in this, but this is a little much.
opting to use the shotgun here because I want to save most of the rapid fire for the next fight. How do you get through that fucking laser grid? I know there's something over there. In fact, I, th I think it's... I think it might be another flak jacket, actually. But, I don't know, just for curiosity. Why does my controller keep doing this? This part's annoying as shit. I hate when those guys bomb rush you. Like, there's no way they could have made it down that hallway that quick. <laughs> Let's face it. the armory. Should have some good stuff in there. There's a guy with grenades I think in here though. Forget what happens. There. I'm dead. Oh I just made it out of there. That's the part that annoyed me the most. Fuck. Black jacket fruits. Stop hiding like a little bitch, bro. 
Come out here and fight like a fucking man. I'll shoot your arm till you're dead then. I don't care. Combat bomb stick. PK. Some grenades. It's funny, they give you all this stuff, but I don't recall them giving you like a heavy gun to fight the uh, helicopter with. Nine mil. What are you doing, dude? Dumbass. Some more grenades. Sniper rifle. Sensibly, this would be like a grenade or something. No, it's a flak jacket. Still got missiles to catalog. Yeah, man. So I paid 60 bucks for the controller, and I'm starting to think that I got ripped off. The fucking thing keeps just stopping randomly. But what do you what do you expect? Discontinued controllers—they're going to fucking screw people. So what's going on here? Why can't I get past this laser grid? Yeah, dude, something ain't right. What's going on? I know that, Leon. Problem is, there's a laser grid that I can't get past. There's no switch, there's nothing to shoot. What the hell's going the fuck on? Tell me this is like an oversight exploit. Like, the laser grids, I can't get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very unhappy with this controller I bought. I mean, out of box, it ain't working right.
Unreal, dude. That's where I gotta go, unless there's another way I can go. But I think I've searched everywhere. Maybe I didn't. Maybe this way. No, I went this way already. Yeah, I went this way. I'm trying to maintain my patience here, people. I don't know what's going on right now I think the game glitched personally because there's a bunch of switches here that are already either shot up or turned on oh it was that switch over there that looked like it was already shot that explains it, I guess. Well, at least the game didn't glitch. Hi! Really hoping I come across some kind of an explosive launcher here because this helicopter coming up is a pain in the ass. I remember someone telling me in the stream once that they beat it with a grenade launcher or whatever. I, last time I beat it with like an assault rifle and whatever ammo I had and it took forever. I'm assuming the same is going to be happening now, but... These guys aren't wearing flag jackets, luckily. Oh, these two guys that aren't paying attention. It's gonna be their funeral. Never mind, my funeral. Since Gabe decided he wanted to look at the fucking, throw the grenade at the ceiling instead of the guys in front of him. Good job, Gabe. Smooth as ever. Gabe, check your fire. Damaging that missile. Yeah, you're right. That was a close call. This guy's going haywire with that bomb stick. Good job throwing that grenade at that ceiling, Gabe. I really am very happy that that's what you did, dude. It helped a lot. Good job, bud. Because the ceiling was a threat. The ceiling was a real prime threat that needed to be deactivated. I know there's somebody coming. not I've got the last code I'm gonna try to find a way up to the radar tower on the roof get ready to lift off I'm ready
Pin is still, yeah, it's just a flag jacket. But it is needed, so I'll take it. Only thing I like about this bunker is it is so fucking dark. I thought it was my TV, but I don't think it is. I think it's this game, dude. Like, dark ass bunker. Looks like I'm going up against the helicopter again with nothing but. An assault rifle. Leon, I found the elevator to the roof. Get ready to dust off. Gabe, the force is crawling at controls. It's time to dust off. Leon, I'm on the roof. Get ready for evac. Yeah, this is a straight up fucking Metal Gear ripoff. <laughs> it looks so Metal Gear. Alright, PK-102. Black jacket. Yeah, man, they don't give you anything good up here. It's just fucking assault rifle. This, this fight's a pain. Whatever. We'll get it done. Leon, I've triggered the timer and disabled the radar. I'm ready for pickup. I read you. ETA 4. No, stop! No! Ah! Don't forget. Rip out all of these controls. Leon! Logan, I'm afraid she won't be giving you a ride. Romer. But Romer! I was kind enough to send one of my choppers. Just one? Yeah, one's enough. Shit! Controls are a tad clunkier in the first installment. Well, probably more than a tad. Getting hit.
take so many shots, man. I don't even know if the shotgun, it doesn't even seem like... There it goes, it is, hit, it is hurting it, but... It's taking an awful long time. That's the only thing about this boss fight, is that it just feels like you're not doing anything. You repeat the same process too many times. Would have been better with a grenade launcher. Struggling for ammo. Uh-oh. I'm gonna start changing its pattern up. Starts dropping off sentries and shit. Makes the whole thing an actual nightmare. An auto aiming nightmare. Guy. No. There we go. so much dude and so annoying <sighs> this boss fight it's just like this is the one part of the game that I feel like they could have the dropping off of the guys just makes it so irritating all crap again. There's just like an infinite amount of guys in there apparently. Mm, yep, he's got an infinite amount. Fucking asshole. Dude, just die. Didn't want to pick that up. Fuck! Fucked up. Hopefully it won't come back to bite me in the ass, but it looks like it is already biting my ass. Dude. Oh! Fucking homo. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Fuck! Shit. 
Are you kidding? What? I'm gonna try one more time and I'm done. I'm not even continuing this. This this is fucking the gayest boss fight ever. It's so fucking terrible. Try to fucking sniper rifle. Fucking tired of this game, yo. I'm tired of this sh bullshit. This fucking boss fight is so fucking tedious. Unless there's a way to like snipe the pilot out, which I'm gonna try to do right now. I don't even care any fucking more. Like, you have to give it your all every time, and I'm just, I'm not in the mood for this. No. Not in the mood to do this shit over and over and over and over and over again. Sorry. Not in the mood. To sit here and do this. What I'm doing right now. Over and over and over and over again until I whittle the thing down enough to continue the game. No. Sorry. You should have gave me a grenade launcher or something. Like any normal game would have. Not a fucking goddamn assault rifle. This is bullshit. Look at this. I'm not even trying to fucking dodge it anymore because I'm so sick of fucking how little damage this does. I'm, I'm not even... I got nothing left. I'm done. Got nothing left for this fucking game. Nothing left for this boss. This boss is gay as shit. Look, if you could roll or something... To dodge it and then it wouldn't be that bad but you can't even do that they try to make this shit way too much like fucking metal gear but ruined it in the process it's the one thing about this game that i cannot look i cannot get behind this boss fight right here is so fucking lame Maybe you can dodge the on fire. Oh, you can. Maybe it's not too bad now. That's still bad. That second phase is utter horseshit. Plain and simple. I like how you can see the bullets bouncing off the ground. It's pretty cool. What's not cool is how little damage my PK is doing to this helicopter's armor. You know, I do find it funny. Don't you don't you people find it funny that there's no like explosive gun here? Like any game. That features a helicopter that you have to destroy will at least give you like something that explodes. Why didn't this game do that? <laughs> like for real. Serious question. And how did I get hit by those bullets? Because I dodged them. But okay. It's for the same, I guess, reasons that I don't have a bazooka right now. I feel like I've already gone through two full-on loads of ammo. Okay, he's switching the phase up now. Which means we're making progress. This is where the, this is where the boss fight really gets fucking gay, though.
Where's his bot bodies? Huh, he didn't drop any. That's weird. Usually he drops two guys. Oh, here he's probably gonna do it right here. I mean, by all means, don't do it. It'll make the boss for areas. I would have liked to aim at the helicopter, but you know, since we got guys here now. I guess it's just to give you that little bit of PK-102 ammo in order to fight the helicopter some more. But still, at the same time, what if you don't have any ammo? I guess taser. Alright, I hit it again. There'll be guys around this corner. Missed it. I hate you, Gabe. You suck. You really do suck, dude. Sorry. Your aim is so ass. It's not even funny. Alright, got it again. Ooh, I'm getting lit up from the side by a guy. Yeah, I'm probably dead right here. for that armor but yeah now you aim with the helicopter when there's a guy right here <laughs> fucking retard <laughs> ah, what a fucking idiot take that out aims at the guy when the guy's looking at or doesn't aim at the guy when the guy's looking at him aims at the helicopter when it's a perfect opportunity to shoot the helicopter fucking retard dude How did I miss that? It's fucking bull. This thing will tear you to ribbons, no problem. Look at how Gabe's aiming. What the fuck you doing, dude? Alright. Hit it. I gotta go to the pause menu and pull my gun out that way. Because this is getting a little bit too ridiculous cycling through this menu. I'm starting to get heavily annoyed. See the boss fight? It's kind of ingenious in a way until this until he starts dropping guys off then it just gets fucking sloppy See what I'm saying, dude? This is what I'm talking about. I'm getting lit up now because dude doesn't want to aim at the guys that are in front of him. And if I die, this game's getting turned off. And I'm yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I'll come back at this another time. I don't have time for fucking headache right now, dude. I, I really don't. And this 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 fucking stupid ass piece of shit boss fight is really giving me one. Turn around, you fucking faggot. Stupid. I, I swear I want to stop, but... Something's making me stay. And I'm not even kidding. I'm actually legitimately angry right now. This, this game put me in... This boss fight has put me in a really bad mood. Worst part of any Siphon Filter game. I don't care. 
Don't care what anyone says. This this whole boss fight is fucking garbage. It's just pure fucking trash. It's just not fun. It's like all I'm sitting here doing is the same movement over and over again. And it takes literally, it takes 20 minutes to beat this thing. Unless I, there's something I don't know, it takes 20 minutes to beat this motherfucker. At best. Because all you have is what I have here. A fucking assault fucking rifle is what you have to take a fucking helicopter to fuck down. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck were they thinking? And it's not like the assault rifle's like actually doing anything. Like this fucking- look at this. I don't even feel like I'm damaging this thing. I don't even feel like I'm hitting it. Plus Gabe's aim's fucking trash. So that fucking you can't rely on. It's everything. It's just everything wrong with this fucking game right here. Everything else in the game's awesome, but this boss fight is fucking trash. Even the last time I played it, I was like, this is fucking stupid. Like, it's just dumb. Unless there's a grenade launcher hidden somewhere, this is just fucking dumb. And even that's dumb. Like, the fact that there would be a grenade launcher hidden is dumb. Because... It's less dumb than what this is, but it's dumb for the fact that it's kind of a necessity to beat this thing without fucking wanting to kill yourself. This is fucking... This is most certainly my last attempt, because I, I just really... This boss fight is total trash. This phase is just boring. The next phase is just bullshit, because game, Gabe can't aim. He aims at the wrong... He prioritizes the wrong target every time. I got killed by two dudes because the motherfucking faggot didn't want to fucking aim at the fucking immediate threat in the fucking area. Fucking dumb motherfucker. Fucking two guys pumping shotguns at him point blank and he decides he wants to shoot at the helicopter that's turned around the other way looking the other fucking way. I mean, really? What the fuck, dude? Like, why? Who designed that? Like, what are the parameters in play that make him aim at the wrong fucking target every single fucking time? The helicopter's lighting him up and he's aiming at the guys. It's like, whichever one is the immediate threat he's not aiming at. That's what it seems like to me. That seems to be how it was programmed. Fucking two guys with fucking boomsticks shooting him point fucking blank and the dick sucker is shooting the fucking helicopter. What a motherfucking retard. Plain and simple. Alright, phase two of fucking bullshit. I'm dead. Like some miracle I didn't die there. And then you got you gotta cycle through your weapons to get to what you want, and it's like the whole fucking thing is absolutely ridiculous. This whole design of this fight, it just doesn't accommodate the control scheme at all. this shit, yo. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's just terrible. It, the whole fucking, this whole entire fight is like a blemish on this series. It really is. It's that bad.
it's not even this part. Like this part, it's boring. Okay, fine. You can get you can get past that. It's not the biggest deal in the world. But when you fucking got all issues with the character auto aiming on different enemies that shouldn't even be there to begin with, we're fighting a helicopter here. Okay, and I'm sure the helicopter has a weight capacity, right? There can't be that many people in there. Well, there's a billion motherfuckers inside that helicopter, people. Why? Just why? Is the question I pose to you. Why would they assume? As game designers, that we would want to have to shoot infinite fucking guys with a shit auto-aiming system that is clearly unpolished, or at least I won't say unpolished, but what I will say is it's not designed for what this boss fight is throwing at you. Plain and fucking simple. This boss fight is throwing shit at you that just completely makes the fucking goddamn control scheme of the game fall right to fucking bits. <laughs> it just like you, it's laughable. It is fucking laughable. That's why I was really hoping to have a grenade launcher by the time I got to this fight, but for some reason the grenade launchers that I acquired in the earlier levels weren't in my inventory for the past three levels during this extended operation here at Romer's base. They took all my good shit, sent me in with a fucking goddamn silence pistol, and that was all I had. So now here I am shooting small arms at a motherfucking hind D. Even Solid Snake didn't do it this way, man. He brought a fucking goddamn rocket launcher. Why the fuck does Gabe Logan come in with a fucking assault rifle? Why? That's the question, ladies and gentlemen. Rhetorical for the most part. But if anyone from fucking Ben Studio is watching and they were a part of the dev team during this period, then please, by all means, enlighten me. Almost out of PK. Haven't even gotten to phase two yet. Alright, phase two should be initiated now. Don't need that flag, Jack. Yeah, can you stop fucking running into the walls, Gabe? Thanks, bud. Appreciate that. Appreciate you moving correctly. Fudge Packer. Call a shave. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, I didn't have my hands full here with a uh, insta kill a chopper or anything, but yeah, come on in, join the party. Oh, you ain't dead yet? Okay, let me let me unload a clip into you. There you go. Waste more of my PK on you fucking infinite pole smokers. Can't even fathom it, dude. At this point, the crack that they were smoking over there when they designed this game or this segment must have been some good ass shit, dude. Because they definitely weren't seeing clear. God, oh, you fucking faggot! I fucking shot you. You die. Okay. I don't know why you take that much bullet, that many bullets. <laughs> Fuck. I hate this fucking boss.
What are you aiming at, you fucking retard? I'm dead. Yep, I'm gone. <laughs> Did you see what the fuck just happened? What, he was aiming at the helicopter under the fucking building. <sighs> Excuse me. Give, give me a second. Let me take a sip of my coffee. I mean, I, I thought I've seen it all. I, I, I really thought in my life I've seen quite quite a lot, but this this is on a whole <laughs> This is on another fucking level. <laughs> oh my god! What were they fucking thinking, dude? <laughs> Not to invoke the angry video game nerd or anything, but Jesus Christ. The fucking helicopter was under the building and he was aiming at that with two guys in front of him. Unloading their assault rifles into him, point blank. This dude decides it's a good idea to shoot at the ground. Mother of fucking... I mean, I, I, I cannot even begin to describe what I'm feeling right now. Disdain, disgust, disbelief. It is just, I've, I, I've never in my life, let's put it that way. This is, I, I thought I'd seen it all until today. And that this opened my eyes. There's, there's so much out there that I have yet to see. So many ridiculous things that I have yet to be exposed to. All the more reason to commit suicide. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, dude, it's just that second phase, man. It's everything else about this fight is not bad. It's it's pretty pretty cool fight, but when he starts dropping them guys off, man, it's like it, you just don't even want to play the game anymore because it, it's just the entire auto aiming system just breaks down. Look at this. I, it sucked to begin with. Let's not even sugarcoat it. But Christ Almighty, look at this. I'm not even hitting them now. This is what I don't get about this game. I'm shooting the fucking dude, and it's not... Sometimes the shots connect. Look, nothing's hitting them. I've gone through a whole fucking goddamn load of ammo. Look, still not hitting them. What the fuck is going on? Usually you see, like, the sparks or whatever coming off of it. Nope, still didn't hit them. I, I don't... Uh, this this is like almost this is broken, dude. It's this this whole fight's broken. The rest of the game isn't, but this fight is a fucking nightmare, dude. Like this is not even not even legit. I mean, this is not legit at all. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not having a good time anymore. I was enjoying myself. And all that. Th this happened, and now I'm not having fun. Thank you, Sony Ben Studios. Thank you for ruining my day with your fucking busted-ass boss fight. Why is why are my shots not hurting? What's, what's the problem here? Like, look at this. I'm not even moving anymore. I don't care how many shots I take. I'm just, I'm done. All right, let's see. Are we in? Are we in phase two now? See, th there's no consistency here, so I can't tell whenever I'm hitting. I shoot them, and the sparks come out. That happened almost every time on the last attempt. This time, didn't see the sparks once, and apparently I was still doing damage. This fucking fight. See, there's the sparks right there. This whole fight is just absolute fucking garbage. This is literally what they. Sh I feel like they. They just shoehorned this in. I feel like this this wasn't even... They didn't even try with this. They just shoehorned the guys coming in, and I don't even think they tested it, dude. 
I really don't. I feel like this was like one of the last things they did, and it just they tried to do something super cool and they ruined it. That's that's what I feel like happened. They tried to rip off Metal Gear, and they threw in a helicopter fight, but they decided that they weren't going to give you a bazooka, which, again, I guess was trying to be innovative with it, but I'm sorry, um, whenever you're fighting a mech, you're supposed to have a bazooka. Let me try this. I'm going to try to light the windshield up. Maybe I'm just an idiot, and there's a way to kill the, guy, the pilot the whole time. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should have just been not even bothering. Auto aim might, might not be what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe I should have been free aiming. Let's try that. If, if that's the case, then I will eat my words. Okay, actually, it looks like this is working better. It's actually smoking already. Okay, you know what? Maybe I was, maybe I'm a dumbass. Okay, I'm dead, but... Maybe I'm an idiot. Let, let's try. Let's try manual aiming the entire time. I'm gonna take some hits, which is why I didn't do it. But for this first phase, I'm definitely gonna go with manual aiming, just to speed it up a bit. I can see every shot connecting now. All right, it's all, yeah, this is this is the way to go, dude. At least for that phase. Probably for you know what? Probably for both phases. Who the fuck am I kidding? Especially for this phase, actually. No target available. Just the fuck up. There's plenty of targets available. You're just a fucking retard. Yeah, but I think I think this boss fight might actually be not as bad as I thought due to the manual aiming that I wasn't doing. I remember when I originally beat it, I used auto aim the whole time and it sucked. But you know, we'll see if this uh, speeds up the process. Definitely less ammo wasted. I'll tell you that. It's just the manual aim is so shit too. It's just the D-pad. The only thing is though, at least it's accurate. That's really all you want. Piss off. Probably gonna die right here. Almost. PK right there, grab that flak jacket, turn around in a huff, reload. I still say this part sucks, but only because of the auto aim situation. And like having to fucking fight guys while the thing comes up it's just like I'm gonna get hit from behind here I think 
I hope not though. Oh yeah, with manual aim, I am sparking him up. This is like night and day difference. So yeah, I guess I had to take back most of what I said there. <laughs> I was just doing it wrong. Part still sucks. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Nope. Yes, yeah, I, I don't take back everything I said. You still kind of have no choice but to, you know, auto aim in that bit. It's like the the manual aim just takes so long. That. Oh cool, I lost a follower. Faggot. Fucking pussy. Go follow someone else. Go follow a fag then. Fucking homo. I swear, there's so many bitches on here, y'all. <laughs> oh god. So many gay ass people on Twitch. Like, who fucking does that? Like, who really, like, goes in and defollows people? Like, why do people do that? I, I never understood. Who has the time to, like, go and, like, defollow people? Like, people are fucking gay as fuck, dude. The world today, man, it's a disgusting place. I mean, we got fucking fag bags running around. Trannies, just little bitches who get uptight for no reason. I think this might be a flag jacket here. Yep, perfect. This guy's always where I am. <laughs> Fucking asshole. out of ammo actually <sighs> all right now it's on fire progress Singing this? I, I, dude, point blank, and it's just missing. Why does this happen? Like, I literally corrected his aim and everything, and it still didn't do shit. This game is like set up for me to fail. That's what's happening. Like, I don't give a fuck, yo. This is horse shit. Dude, I mean, I know I, I know it's true because everyone saw it. It just fucking happened before your fucking eyes. Fucking shit is insane, dude. It's 
fucking ridiculous. I'm, I'm getting beyond frustrated with this. Like, I think this might be worse than my first attempt because I'm just like so not into it anymore. The failing mechanics just completely left a bad taste in my mouth. I'm not going to deny it. Phase two. I don't even bother aiming at them anymore because what's the point? All right, let me see who defollowed me real quick. I'll check after so I can defollow them. Since you want to be a fucking faggot about it for some reason, go ahead and, you know, defollow people. Fucking dumb fuck. I really wish I knew who it was, dude. And, like, I'd go hunt them down, punch them in their fucking face. How fucking dare you unfollow me, fucking fudge packer. Is it because you're gay and you didn't like me calling people fags, is that why? Yeah, it probably is why. PC pussy. Politically correct queer bitch cocksucker. And I know it had something to do with that because I had 116 followers prior to the stream, now I have 115. So, somebody got, somebody got bitter, let's put it that way. Why do these guys have such a... These guys feel like bullet sponges. Out of nowhere. Like I'm sitting there lighting them up and it takes almost a clip and a half it feels like. Meanwhile they hit me once and all my health disappears. I swear, man. I fucking swear. Let me see here real quick. Oh, I'm being shot again. Yeah, I'm done. I don't give a fuck. What's the point of this at this point? I'm fucking pissed. I don't even care anymore. Uh, follow the channel. If not, go fuck yourself. Faggot.